everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The Three Amigos are back in this motherfucker. That's right, the Three Amigos. Pops, what's going on? Uh, he's trying to get set. Trying to get set, trying to get, get your black head uh, uh, yeah. just as so. Yeah, he's trying to get everything set. Well, well, we are back right here on Wrestling Rampage <laughs> and we're doing... Five questions with WR for you guys right here, right now. Uh, this is when you guys, the viewers, the fans, the subscribers, send, uh, you alright over there? I don't know, got something on my shirt there. I don't know. What's your hoodie? You mean your hoodie? Yeah, well, whatever it is, there's something on a little bit of a mess there. That's good. But this is when you guys, the fans, the viewers, the subscribers of Wrestling Rampage, send us questions to answer. We answer them right on video for you guys. You ready there, Greybeard? Yeah, I'm getting there. Well, <laughs> you better get ready because here comes the first question right now. Asked by our good friend Charles Reed Fowler. Charles Reed Fowler! Uh, were you guys Lincoln Park fans and uh, did Chester's death affect you? Um, Pop, so you go ahead and answer this first, because we, uh, we, 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 we already know. Uh, to be totally honest, I uh, don't know who they are, and, uh, you know, I'm sorry anybody passes away, but I never knew the guy, so yeah, I can't uh, say either way. Yeah, so uh, Pop's never really listened to that yeah. music anyway. Um, yeah, Pop's never listened to Linkin Park. Uh, I was a fan of Linkin Park, and, uh, you know, uh, they really had some really good music back in the early 2000s. Um, then, like, gradually over the years, you know, uh, you know, they went a little softer yeah. and softer, and then I just, I didn't listen to them anymore. Um, probably by, like, 2000, like, 8-ish, maybe, 2009, is when they started, like, going, like, popsy, kind of, with, yeah. with their music. And I just, never, I didn't really like any of their music after that. And, uh, I guess when it comes to Tommy, well, first of all, uh, Linkin Park fan. Yeah, I was a Linkin Park fan in the uh, early 2000s, you know, their good hits, you know, Numb and and uh, One Step Closer and, you know, all those good songs. Mm -hmm. But uh, later years, I wasn't a big fan of Linkin Park. Yeah, so pretty much about the same as me. Yeah. Um, and did Chester's death affect you, uh, affected you? Well, um, it's always sad to see somebody that... Uh, you know, and, and this is the thing, too, you know, everybody is depressed. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, it just depends on how depressed you are. Um, and some are a little more depressed than others. And, yes, he committed suicide. Yeah. Uh, which is not uh, something anybody should ever Yeah, don't ever do. attempt suicide, all right? That, it puts your family through a lot of uh, anguish. And don't Don't commit suicide. And I see a lot of these cyber bullies fucking dreading this stuff. Make people fucking commit suicide. Make this person kill themselves. You know, to be honest, get a fucking life, okay? I mean, you got these bullies on here, you know, or, bull you know, some, some people fucking tell them to kill themselves and they fucking do it. Like, that's the best way to Wasn't there one where a guy actually killed himself live on camera? Yeah. 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 And filmed yeah. it over the internet? Yeah. 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 You know, why the fuck go through that? That's... There's options, okay? You can call a hotline, you know, and they'll coach you through it, you know. Or there, check yourself yeah, into somewhere. Yeah, check yourself into somewhere. There, there's <coughs> other options than ending your life, okay? It's not worth it. And see, and, and, and see, this is the worst part, you know, Chester was, you know, at, at, at the height of their career in, in the early 2000s, you know, they, they actually made a lot of money and everything. Yeah. You know, I, I can understand an average Joe trying to yeah. kill themselves, but, uh, but uh, you know. Uh, well, here, here's my standpoint, I, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again, you know, people, people, I'm, I'm not just talking about the music industry, I'm talking about the sports, I'm talking about everything. They, they work so hard to, to get to that point. And then, 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 then somehow or other, they self-destruct. But I'm like Tommy, you know, if you're if you're in that point of your life, I don't I don't care if you are, if you are a musician or sports or just an average guy, it's time for you to find fucking help somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I believe that's what he should have done. Yeah. As far as death affected me, you know, I didn't really know him personally. But, yeah. 
uh, as far as it that, was sad. It, it was sad because you know, uh, I, I was a yeah. Lincoln Park fan. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm sad to hear anybody passes away. You know, it's a. It's it don't matter bad. what what place it is. It could be in the music industry, <laughs> professional yeah. wrestling. Yeah. It don't matter. It could be in football, basketball, baseball. It don't matter what 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 but it, but sport it be, yeah. it's in or anything like that. It get, don't matter. You know, if you get so so low that that you're contemplating suicide, it's time, it's time for you to get fucking help somewhere. I don't care. I'll call it. Yeah, Tommy, they, they, Tommy's right. They do have a hotline for that stuff. It's time for you to get help. I, I persuade you, if, if you people are in that in that desperate Yeah, time, if you are in that desperate get time, you please some help. get you some help. Don't, don't, don't do that. It'll put your family through a lot of anguish. And, and there's people that care about you. Okay. All right, so don't, don't do that. We're going to go ahead and go to the next question asked by Jalon. What was your very first wrestling match you've ever watched? Uh, I don't. Is, does he mean uh, 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 in person or does he mean on TV? You know, I'll go ahead and answer both. Uh, well, evidently, my my to seeing it on TV was what was it was in the Memphis area. Uh, you remember the match? Uh, Jerry Lawler versus uh, uh, Bill Dundee. Do you remember what time match it was? The loser leave town match. It was match? the loser leave loser leave town match. Now the first the, 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 he that's, laid the yeah. D on the mat. Yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. The, the, that's the first time he's seen it on TV. Now, me and me, me, me and a few other guys we went to Louisville Gardens and, and seen it. That, that that right there was my was my first first seeing uh, uh, handsome Jimmy Baggins. He, he was against Jerry Lawler for, for for that coveted Southern title there that that, that, that the Jerry Lawler title, had yeah. it for years. <laughs> All right, uh, Tommy. Probably the uh, first wrestling match I saw on TV was Ric Flair. Yeah, okay. versus a jobber. A jobber. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it was George South. <laughs> George South. Uh, yeah, it was. It was George South versus Ric Flair. It was Ric Flair taking on a job. It's rare appearance where Ric Flair wrestles on TV, by the way. At that point. At that yeah. time, it was, it's rare when Ric Flair ever wrestles on fucking NWA television. Well, he must have had a bad <laughs> night if he won no. George South. <laughs> and, uh, and it was him versus George South. And I remember that match. Uh, what about Lyle? <laughs> uh, it was in Indiana. I had to go with uh, Cactus Jack versus Rip Rogers. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take your answer as well as far as live. Yeah, there was a uh, a uh, spot show in uh, in Indiana uh, yeah. for an independent promotion. And uh, uh, Rip Rogers, which we know, um, yep. uh, he ended up giving, because he, he was friends with our mom, uh, and uh, he ended up giving us some free tickets to come to the show that yep. night. And... Uh, we got to see him face uh, Cactus Jack because he was the biggest name there uh, yeah. that, yeah. That, that drew the house there. That yeah. Night. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that, that one actually would have to come to mind for me as well. Yeah, and, and we were the ones that got to go up in the ring and take a picture with Cactus Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah we get in the ring and it and, and makes like, do the bang bang. Yeah, do the bang bang. And uh, that was, uh, what was the funny part about that right there is that, that was all coerced because, uh, uh, Rip Rogers uh, told Coach Dr. Jack to pick those boys over there. And uh, it ended up that they got in the ring, they got their picture taken with Cactus Jack, and it was it was a it was a it was a it was a good it was good matches and it was a, it was a good time there too. Uh, I'd say live on any uh, television or whatever is um a mat, like a match that sticks out to my mind that uh, you know, it's a lot it's an older match. You know, from when Pops used to rent videos back in the day. <laughs> um, match that sticks out as a Ric Flair match uh, with him and Harley Race at the, at the first ever Starcade in 1983. Yeah. Uh, that match really sticks out in my mind. Um, next question asked by Legend Killer one Who do you think uh, has more talent, AJ Styles or Shinsuke Nakamura? Oh, that's a tough one. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, both of them are, you know, no, no, no pun intended, but phenomenal in the yeah. ring. 
Um, both have uh, their unique styles of, of, of wrestling. Um, both of them are, were at the top of their game uh, as far as AJ being one of the top guys in the U.S. and Shisuke Nakamura being one of the top guys in, in Japan. Um, now, granted, them coming to WWE, they've had some pitfalls. Yeah, they had some downfalls, yeah. But uh, overall, pops. Uh, my God, you know, what is your, why do you ask the easier question, like, you know, uh, uh, AJ Styles or Kurt Hawkins? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> that, yeah, I could, I could answer that right there, it's a goddamn easy, easy only one, one word, uh, but God, yeah, that's, that's so hard, Tommy's right, God, that's real hard, uh, but I have to agree with everything you said, uh, really, I, I think they're both on the top of their game, I, I could not say, uh, but as we, as if you we, had to choose one, if you had to choose okay. gun to the head, you had to choose one. Well, uh, to to be to be in the in the category that he is now, I would have to say AJ. AJ, Tommy, and yes, you hear a train. By the way, yeah. Uh, just give you a heads up. Yeah, we live by the train track. By the way, uh, so if <laughs> you hear a woo 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 like eight like fucking ice train, it's the train. Right? <laughs> You know, uh, I have you to go live. with, uh, I'll, me, I'm going to have to go with AJ Styles also. Uh, I, it's an end miss. I'm going to go with AJ Styles as well. Now, you know, now, granted, I, I, I've always yeah. loved Nakamura. Yeah, I like um, Shinsuke Nakamura. It's not because, I, I, I put, I'm going to make, make it clear, it's not. I not, think it's just because of his yeah. WWE yeah. run. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that I'm choosing AJ over, over yeah, Shinsuke. That, yeah, that's, that's it. me. And if you, if you put, if you put them, if you put them in the ring together, uh, I tell you what, you know, if you could do something like that right there, I well, they did wrestle at yeah. Wrestle Kingdom ten, yes, yeah, did. and had uh, a great match. And had a great match. But. I I think him too could, couldn't wrestle against anybody, and and they could they could make anybody fucking look good. That's well, how talented both of them are. Well, as you can tell, even even, even with Nakamura facing goddamn Jinder Mahal, he made Jinder Mahal look like a million. Yeah, bucks. it was sad, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question asked by. Legend Killer One as well. What do you think about these WWE divas or women wrestlers uh, photos getting uh, leaked over the internet, over the interwebs, surfing the internet? Nineties term. Uh, what do I think of it? Yeah. I think it's their personal business. Mm. You know, some some fucking hacker, some fucking jock sniffing hacker. I hate hackers. You can suck my dick, hackers. How you like that? How about you hack my penis, bitch? <laughs> you know, I hate hackers. They huh? they piss me off. They I know. they're pieces of shit. Get a fucking life, okay? No. Get a get a job. Get a career. <laughs> get a job. You know, get a job. You know, <laughs> do something. You know, you know, you can get in deep shit if you hack the wrong shit, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you can hack the wrong motherfucker and you can be in deep shit. How you like that, you fucking hacking motherfuckers? Fuck you. But what do you think about it? I think it's bullshit, like I said. I think it's bullshit? Yeah. That, that's their personal fucking shit. No. And you got a fucking jock sniffer coming around, sniffing sniffing away to get evidence or whatever the fuck they're doing. How, how about you just shut the fuck up, don't hack people, because to me, how about someone hacked your fucking ass? How would you like that, you, you fucking hacking motherfucker on the internet? Fuck you. Pops. What do you think about okay, these? Okay, I'm going to put it in like this right here now. What do you think about these uh, WWE uh, women getting I, their, uh, I, I, their I, I think what they do in their own personal business is their personal that's business. That's why I if think. They, you know, if they want to film themselves fucking somebody, that's fine. But yeah, I, that's I, their I, business. I just want to say this. <laughs> I just want to say this now. Paige, I think you're a beautiful woman. But girl, somebody will teach you how to fuck. Yeah. And I'm just the guy that could do it. So baby... If you're watching here, come to my house. Would your hair bounce up and down? God damn right. Come to my house. I will fuck you, and I will get you ready for porn, bitch. Yeah, who need that Viagra though? <laughs> you need the, because because you need what? the Viagra? Hell no, I don't need none of that, no Viagra. I'm just right where I am. <laughs> but, but but here's the bottom line. You know, if you fuck that way all the time, then God damn, no no no, no one tells you to get off of them. Um. Once again, um, now, now, you know, you know, this goes with anything, you know, 
You know, people sent sent dick pics before. Yeah. Yeah. People, you know, uh, you know, guys do. Yeah. Uh, women send their picture of their tits or their yeah. fucking ass or their fucking and, ha- and they don't think that someone's gonna fucking hack that. Yeah. Shit. You know, or, or or people record each other. Uh, with, doing a blowjob yeah. or whatever the fuck they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, well, I. People do record that shit. Yeah, that you know, people record themselves having sex and everything. Uh, now, now, but so here's the thing. It's called hide that shit. Yeah, that's what it's called. You call hide that shit. You know, that's put put it away. You know, sometimes Don't, they hack the clouds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people will hack the shit and and put it up there on fucking but, Pornhub or or fucking XV videos or whatever the fuck they want. But here's the thing too. Anything you do on fucking social media, you don't think you don't think anybody's gonna take that shit and put it up there. You know, if you're gonna do do if you're if you're gonna fuck somebody or suck somebody's fucking dick, motherfuckers, you ought to keep that fucking shit private. That's right. I mean, that'd be the only motherfucking shit. If I gonna do that, goddamn windows would be closed. No fucking cameras would be yeah. there. Um. Uh, now, granted, some people has gotten their shit linked. I know yep. that. Uh, um. Uh, what's her fucking face? Uh, Caitlin ended up getting some of her. Uh, we got, probably don't remember her WWE run because it was uh, dreadful. Victoria. Uh, Victoria uh, and uh, uh, I, I've seen her videos and. Hey, uh, but, <laughs> now, boy, you fuck that. You that's better than Paige. Yeah, I don't say you, that much. Yeah, uh, she knows how to fuck. Summer well, Rae. sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, a friend seen the yeah. video and. <laughs> Summer uh, Ray. Uh, Summer Rae, uh, Charlotte, Charlotte yeah. and of course the one that's the biggest one is Paige because yeah. she's had the most links so far. Yeah. yeah. Um, Which to be honest, I, I think it's bullshit. I, you know what I think? Of, yeah, I told you what I think of these hackers. Um, Get a fucking job. Not only that, but it does ruin their reputation. Yeah, I, I think that's what the hackers yeah. want. They want to ruin someone's life so they can say, I ruined this bitch's el, life. El, el, you know el, what? El, How about you, you hackers... Do what you do best, because one time, one time only, you're going to hack the wrong motherfucker, and someone's going to come and beat the fuck out of you. Listen, here's... Now, it. also... And you're going to get fuck... Uh, no, he could... They could ax, hack something that could be really bad, like the FBI or something, uh, but and you could be I a deep wanna, fucking shit. I, I do want to point out one thing here, and what I mean by somebody's reputation is... Yes, you can always do good and everything, but but you always have that side too. You yeah, know? you know everybody has a side. Yes, where it's you know and, and it's a sexual side. Everybody has yeah, a sexual every, side. Okay. Everyone has a sexual side. God, I bet you them hackers want to fuck somebody. So you know you you know you can't sit there and just and just do that to somebody. Yeah, you can't uh, fucking do that. Everyone everyone wants to fuck. Okay. Yeah. Hey, even them fucking troll hackers want to fuck. You, know, you so said you wanted to add something. Uh, you know, you know. In my opinion, you know, if you want to, you know, sex is like anything else. You know, me, I will, You know, if I'm gonna fuck somebody, I'm gonna do it in private. You know, that's that'd be my life because because I figure, hey, this is this is my personal business, nobody else's, and. You know, it's, so you're not gonna be filming it like yeah, Bob Crane. That's yeah. right. That's right. It's, 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 it's like it, this right here. You know, and and that's how come a lot of wrestlers and a lot of celebrities has has went went through the wayside because they went fucking broke, paying paying motherfuckers to keep off their fucking backs. And last question asked by Legend Killer One, and this is the last one for this uh, round of five questions: Who has the better tag teams, Raw or SmackDown Live? I'm gonna have to go with Raw. Raw has the better uh, tag teams because all SmackDown. But why the hell did they choose Seth Rollins and and Jason Jordan to be the tag team? I don't champions? know when they got far better Raw tag teams on on the goddamn list. I'm not talking about Apollo Cruz and Titus O'Neil, you know, or, <laughs> or fucking Heath Slater. Right? Well, you got the revival who got buried. In, yeah, you the got the fucking revival, a great fucking tag team. You got Gallows and Anderson, a great fucking tag team. And I'm gonna have to. Well, I'm gonna have to say this, even though. Even though I hate them, but you got the Hardy Boys. Mm-hmm. You got the Bar, Sheamus and Cesaro. You got a great fucking tag team core, way better than what SmackDown has. The Ascension. Oh, they got Fandango the Asc- and yeah. uh, Tyler, Tyler Breeze. Breeze. You got fucking, you got fucking uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Granted, I like them, but I don't think they clicked as yeah. well as as uh, Jason got, Jordan got, and got, Chad Gable. They got did. the New Day, and they got the Usos, and they got Aiden English and Rusev, and which I like as a tag team, by the way. 
Bruce of Day. Yeah, Bruce of Day. Um, but I'm going to have to go on pure tag teams. I'm going to have to go Raw has the better tag team core. But why the hell did they pick Jason Jordan and, and uh Well, Seth he's Rollins? just a poor man's replacement for Dean Ambrose. Let's don't kid ourselves. <laughs> poor poor man's replacement. <laughs> Seth, Rollins is ca Seth Rollins has got an anchor tied to his ass. With fucking Jason fucking paint pillin' Jordan. With his fucking red tights. I think Jason Jordan sucks. I'm being honest with you. He sucks. He's the worst tag team. He has you to might have as well. A good, okay, I, I'd rather prefer Rick Steiner and Judy Bagwell as a tag team than fucking Seth Rollins and fucking Jason Jordan. Uh, to me, uh, Jason Jordan uh, <laughs> has to. He has to have a good wrestler with him to make him look good. Yeah, yeah that was Chad Gable. That uh, was Chad Gable. Yeah. Now, see, it's just it's just they fit kind of together. Yeah. yeah. Him and Seth Rollins don't, don't, don't fit yeah. together. And, and sooner or later, unlike Tommy, he's a, he's an. Jason Jordan's ankle around Seth Rollins' neck, and sooner or later, it's it's going to falter, and it, you know them. them I, I say them two are going to turn on each other. Yeah. Well, who who has the better tag team? Is Raw? Well, I think I got to go with Raw. Uh, I'm gonna go with Raw as well, because uh, uh, one of my favorite tag teams is the Revival that yep. got buried at. Uh, I wish Raw they were, 25. I wish they went to SmackDown. <laughs> they want to get buried on that show because because SmackDown is a limited supply tag team. <laughs> Uh, well, and, uh, even you know, it's it's like it's right here. You know, well, you know, the revival, Barry, Dallas and Anderson, Barry. What 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 can you say about that? I, I mean, I mean, you got you got two great tag teams. You know, you know, you know who else got buried? The the, the fans that bought the ticket at the Manhattan Center. <laughs> yeah, that's right? true. Too, they got buried. <laughs> oh, well, I, they got fucking buried for good, though. Yeah. <laughs> At least, at least, at least, at least uh, Gallows and Anderson and the rival, they kind of rose up a little bit when they appeared there. <laughs> a little bit. But, I guess that's the end of this, this edition of Five Questions. Yep. Anything else you guys want to add? Nope, that's it. All right. Uh, you guys can ask us questions anytime you guys want to. Bear with us on the time frame that we can do this. You know, we only do about three, uh, maybe per week. Uh, sometimes we can do more. It just depends. So bear with us. Your question will be asked. Yeah. Um, so you guys can ask us anytime you guys want to on our Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestling rampage two, or if you have me or Tommy on uh, Facebook as well, you guys can add us on Facebook as friends. I'm Joey. He's Tommy Flat F L A T T. Uh, gray beard, uh, black hat does not have. Uh, Facebook, so d don't even try to attempt to get hit. Yeah, what I do is fucking private. I want to fuck it in private. That's right. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. If you guys want to send something for Mailbag Monday, you guys can do that as well through our P.O. Box, Joseph Flat, F L A T T, at P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, 42702. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels and one of the most growing YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tyler, why don't you take it away? If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.